Hey everyone, today I'm going to be testing if it's actually possible to have superhuman hearing like Superman. So first I wanted to test what it was like to just be about in my daily life using this, and then I'm going to test something specific about Superman. I wanted to see if it's actually possible to hear sound from space. In order to test this, I needed some Superman ears. So I contacted some of the world's best audiologists at Earlux in order to make for me some Superman ears that I could wear to mimic what Superman could hear. So what they designed these to do is increase the power of any sound wave coming in by a thousand times. That makes it around 16 times louder than it normally would be. So first I'm gonna wear these around to see how practical it is to have superhuman hearing in regular life. And then I'm going to be testing them in the vacuum chamber to see if it's possible to actually transmit sound through very rarefied air. So the first warning I got when they gave me these is don't put them in in a normal sounding room because you're gonna blow your eardrums. So right when I put them in, it was an amazing experience. I could actually just hear as if there wasn't a wall around me. I could hear people through walls, like here's my wife talking to me through the wall. So what I've done is I've actually taken the audio from the hearing aid and connected it to the camera so you can actually hear the audio from the hearing aid. So this is what it sounds like to have Superman hearing. Hello? Hey honey, can you like talk in the other room and see if I can hear you? Like in the kitchen? Yeah. So I was able to get a little piece of Superman's hearing, but one of the main things that's hard to believe with Superman's hearing is that later on in some of the episodes, he can actually hear people talking from space. And as you know, the further you get away from the Earth, the more rarefied or the less pressure there is in the atmosphere. So what I'm gonna do is put our Superman hearing aid in the vacuum chamber and see how low of a pressure we can get and compare it to regular hearing and then compare it to Superman's hearing and see if he can actually hear far out in space. It's hard to define where space begins, so we're gonna be going to Armstrong's line. This is the point at which the pressure is so low that saliva would boil off of your tongue. So this is what a non-superhuman would hear in space. Now I'll yell from outside the vacuum chamber and see how it sounds with normal ears and then with Superman ears. So it turns out that you can actually hear at this level. The whole problem with Superman's hearing is that you have to amplify the sound. And when you amplify sound, it means that you're amplifying all the sound around you. So you need some really good noise filters. Now really good hearing aids have noise filters like this. You can see on the hearing aids I got from Earlux, it has these noise filters and you can easily filter out some noise in the room around you. And you can even get it to focus solely on speech. Now despite all of this, one of the hardest things to believe about Superman's hearing is that he can hear anything all over the world. But the problem is that the speed of sound is limited. For example, if someone was crying for help in Australia and Superman was in New York, it would take over 15 hours for the sound to reach him. So no matter how fast Superman could fly, he's limited by the speed of sound. And I wanna thank the folks at Earlux for sending me the hearing aids that I used in this video. Now I used them in a very non-traditional silly way for this video, but they also provided my father-in-law who has some partial hearing loss with some hearing aids and he actually loved them. So if you or any of your loved ones are suffering from hearing loss, Earlux was nice enough to give my viewers a discount on their hearing aids. So each person who clicks the link in my description will get a free hearing test and consultation and as well as $200 off or 0% financing on a set of hearing aids. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also check out theactionlab.com where you can see some of the Action Lab experiment kits I have. And we also have some cool Action Lab paintings that use Muso Black. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.